How's it going guys? It's the same and we're back with some more Doki Doki. Um, we ended the last video with talking to a bunch of girls constantly. We made a poem and that was about it. I still understand this game. Um, I heard there's a lot of creepy crazy shit that happens later. So um, if you know it, please don't spoil it in the comments below. Hopefully we get to it soon. And bear with me while we go through all this shit again. Um, if you guys haven't noticed already, I have a new schedule up. Um, right now, Tuesdays are Uncharted, Wednesdays are Jack, Thursdays are Resident Evil, and Mondays and Fridays are kind of random. I already have something set for Fridays, but that's probably a couple weeks down the road, so this video will either be on Mondays or Fridays, or it might even be on both. Who fucking knows at this point? Alright, so we're gonna hop right in, and let's begin. Hi, oh god, alright, hold on, I gotta take a drink, dude. I just talk so damn much. Alright, all right, listen. <sighs> it tastes so good. Click. Get yourself a nice water ball, guys. <clears throat> stay hydrated, stay safe, stay healthy. I'm gonna shut the hell up and continue. All right, hi again, Tyler. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha 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 Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I kept my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Tyler. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a, a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it might fucking suck. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. She's a bitch, I don't know what the hell's wrong with her. Sasori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Not so key. You certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection or club room. <gasps> Bitch! I knew it! No. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Oh, that's that's kind of cute. Manga is literature. I, I do agree. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuka, Natsuki plots back to her seat. Don't worry, guys. Tyler always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayuri, that's because your room is so damn messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Or twice. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Tyler came... You and Tyler can become good friends too. Oh, if you guys didn't... If you guys watched part one, I'm not good at reading. I'm not good at speaking. So, <laughs> my bad. Um, Sayuri... Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori, don't tell him! Yeah, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. It's titties. What? What is it? Never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal out of I won't make a big deal of it. it words. Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. You reaches into your bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep you your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want, hint, hint. This is, how is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Oh my god. Ugh. I hear Natsuki utter an ex exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. You're looking for something in there? Freaking Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes? 
Mog is one of the things you, where you can't admit you really you're really into until you figure out where the other person stands. I'm into it. I'm straight up into it. How how did you know? Anyways, I heard you bring it up at some. I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean, bitch? Oh, I see. There's a lone volume of manga and miss a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curiously, I pull out pull it out of the stack. There it is. Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight. In the world. I, I, I wholeheartedly agree. That or movie sets where there's one movie or disc missing drives me nuts. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Parfait Girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're going to judge, you can go do it through the glass on, on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, 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 I wasn't judging anything. Calm, calm, calm your ass down. I didn't even say anything, woman. It's what your tone was. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Tyler. Consider this as a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. I understand that. In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of the Parfait Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right in my face. Ah. I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking anime feminine poses. It's exceedingly mo. Don't just stand there. Oh, uh, what? Uh, kawaii? Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsill. She, she pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit right next to her. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Uh, why is that? Uh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Uh oh, she's. Oh, 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 look at her face. Look at her face. Don't, don't you say that? <laughs> you make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's partially a bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peeing over my shoulder. Pee, pee, peeing. <laughs> I look over. She's just squatting, looking at me. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm. You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh... I am, but nothing's really happening yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like there's a bunch of friends in high school. Typically, slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. So, what should I expect from this? Is there going to be a plot? Well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean, well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things, like there's really a fun chapter where they're obsessed with the guy at the ice cream shop, but that's just but that just helps you get to know the character. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama, like when they get into all their backstories and when some of the romance starts happening. That's really where it makes it good. There are so many touching parts. Ah, is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. <laughs> hey, wait, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, Natsuki gives me a little shove. What the fuck's going on behind me? Sorry. I just meant that I haven't seen you at your full power. <laughs> this isn't my final form. Hmm, good save. Ah, this chapter seems like it's about baking. This is just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well, Natsuki paused for a moment as if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah. Why does that matter? Oh, I wonder if that's why she's in uh, fucking baking. Why the hell do I care about the story? <laughs> it doesn't. I was just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? That's just a coincidence. I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got into manga. Dude, all right. For whoever doesn't watch anime and is big into cooking, watch some cooking anime. The frick, It looks amazing. Like I would ever get into anything because it's in a manga. I feel bad for anyone that's impressionable. Ahaha! Ha. Definitely not a coincidence. I guess I explained Natsuki's interest in baking. Still, of all the hobbies to pick from a manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. Not to mention she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? Oh, whoa, the completely different uh, angle. We read on for a few minutes. I 
finished a couple chapters at this point. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that, if you say so. I guess, I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? I love doing that, especially I try to get my wife into either anime or some uh, movies that she normally wouldn't watch. And I love experiencing that with other people. Hmm? You don't? Um, that's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Or sorry, what do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you just not rub it in? Jeez. Ah, sorry. Hmm. I wish, like, their names, like, when I would talk, it'd say Tyler on the left side, and then, like, when the other character would talk, their name would pop up, pop up on the right side, just to make it a little easier. Like, I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga's for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Eh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in their fucking face, stupid bitches. Uh, I, I know those kind of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't, who don't judge. Much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitate towards the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. At least it's safe here in the club room. Kept Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Sept Monica. I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? <laughs> so? Haha. <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you going to keep reading or what? Yeah, 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 yeah. I flip the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. <laughs> I totally forgot that happens. Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Minori is my favorite character. Uh, you always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when... Uh, I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish the chapter. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck is going on with this game? Natsuki voice sparkles with excitement. It's a, it's a stark contrast to her usually bossy tone. But if she's not used to sharing her, fav her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. Uh, it's hard to express in words the feeling when you get when you you get when connecting with someone like that, and being able to provide that to Natsuki, for whom it's a rare experience, the thought makes me smile a little to myself. Okay, everyone, eh, are you ready to? Are you all ready with today's poems? Sweet, I forgot about this. Oh come on, could your timing be any worse? Sorry, I just need to make sure we have enough time. Though you do look pretty cozy over there. <laughs> Uh, uh, Natsuki suddenly notices how close she's gotten to me. She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. Alright, guess I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're, you're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Uh, yeah, but Monica just said, don't be dumb. Just take it home with you. Huh? Is that really alright? I say that... Mostly because I really didn't plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course. It will, it, blah, blah, blah. it would take forever to finish it if you didn't take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow so we can start the next one. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. <laughs> By tomorrow? I only got partway through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some shows if I try to get through this. But I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? Alright then. I stand up. I return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah? My relax, my relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayuri and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayuri is on a wrinkled sheet is Sayuri's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Here we go. Here we go, people. Here we fucking go. 
Uh, who should I show my poem first to? Um, we're gonna go Natsuki, just because, uh, we've already connected with her with a manga. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poem yesterday. It's probably only fair that she sh I'd share mine with her first. Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um, Natsuki rereads my poem. Never mind. I don't feel like giving you my opinion. What?! Uh, then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Uh, in fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said, uh, well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, huh, well, it's not the greatest, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. So in other words, you're saying you like it. <laughs> Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. Uh, you're so... You, you, you just don't understand anything, do you? I already told you. You don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she's let that, that she likes my poem. In any case, you still in any case you still need to show me yours, right? Yeah, <sighs> fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, and horses can race. Owls can seek, and cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Click. Oh, is there more? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like this? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't that point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly! I, I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can really be disheartening so I decided to write about it yeah I understand but the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay like I set up for a rhyme at the end but then made it fall flat on purpose it helps bring out the feelings in the last time so you did I guess more went into this than I realized that's what I meant to, that's what it means to be a pro I'm glad you learned something didn't expect that from the youngest one here did you yeah, I guess not. I decided I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Oh my fucking god. Alright, um, I'm gonna end it here. We're gonna continue our... Fuck. Yeah, let's save. Can we... Is this like a simple save? Oh, I hit it. oh that's fucking cool. I, I like the whole save option. All right, we're gonna end it there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know where this where this video is going, to be completely honest with you. So, bear with me. We're gonna see how this goes. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more videos every week, and I'll see all you gentle people in the next video. See ya.